YouTube. It's been a while. There are the occasional uploads here and there that I end up putting on private, but it's been a while since I've put much of an effort into a video or whatever this is, podcasty thingy. Um, I don't know. I'm tempted to talk about, to give the excuses as to why I don't make videos as much, but who cares, right? Who cares? Let's just get into it. Um, I used to make more videos, sometimes about very specific dates. You know, a lot of videos on just dating in general, but also I would make videos on specific dates and take some pictures and stuff. And yeah, I think those were, actually some of those were pretty interesting, but um, honestly, I've been on too many to keep that going and my phone, despite deleting things, uh, always says that the storage is full and blah, blah, blah. But this is more just talking to myself as far as giving myself advice, maybe giving you advice, but probably just me. Um, <laughs> and because a lot of times I think with this subject matter of the modern dating dystopia, uh, there's so many different things you can veer off into, which maybe are interesting or not. I don't know as far as, you know, what's happened with politics and religion and the culture and capitalism and how all of these things intertwine that have created this sort of hellhole that exists. You know, I mean, that's the way I see it anyway. Maybe some of you love it, but, you know, and you can get into the details of what are men doing and what are women doing and I've explained this and other people have explained this. But then what I really want to do for myself, and maybe if I'm trying to be generous and share my my wisdom with you, um, trying to help you learn from my mistakes, trying to help myself learn from my mistakes, it's uh, to simplify it in a way. And I know this is probably a message that I've given in a million videos before and that I end up forgetting but you know a lot of life is this redundant thing right no matter how you do it 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 seems that way to me anyway and that's a maybe its own separate video how on all these dates I go on not all of them but a lot of them I ended up I end up giving the same speech about redundancy and like man what's left for us to talk about and I know that's probably not very appealing for the normal person to want to talk about I'm sick of talking about things and basically indicating that I'm just lacking in <laughs> lacking in energy or desire to have what I consider boring conversations but and not even that I I mean do I know at this point what sorry about the wind noise by the way um, but I want to make this video outside so yeah what is actually interesting to me I don't really know I think the truth is, is that what's interesting is if I'm attracted to the person, then we can just, if I'm attracted to them and they're attracted to me, you can make it interesting, right? If you both are into each other for whatever the stupid reason is, right? You know, she likes your smile, you like her tits, it doesn't even matter, right? But you're into each other, then you could be interested in each other's boring commentary on anything, life experiences, favorite color, blah, blah, blah. And that connects to the heart of what I wanted this video to be about is essentially, yes, the dating dystopian nightmare. Uh, There's certain things that you can't avoid that are going on within the culture. And there's a million different kind of metaphors I could use. Uh, The most, uh, one of them being, you know, it's like zombies. Zombies trying to eat you alive. And there's too many zombies to just make sure you kill them all, right? You're not going to be able to kill all the zombies. And there's no point in trying to. What you have to do is you have to, you're trying to get to a base, get to the, the, the fort that's keeping all the zombies out. Um, you're trying to make your way to an island away from the zombies and oftentimes I get 
too caught up in battling individual zombies, which isn't going to get me or anyone anywhere, when the only real hope is just to escape to the island somehow. And what that island looks like for me might be different than what that island looks like for you. You have to, either way, you have to avoid getting caught up with too many zombies, too many people that have been bitten by everything wrong with this culture and they that also they lack the self-awareness to see that they've been bitten because sometimes yes i can acknowledge i've been bitten right i can do all the shitty things right the uh not being as careful with someone's emotions as i should who i'm interacting with someone who might value our interaction more than i do and I can be callous and I can, like we all do, return the pain that's been given to me. And I don't want to do that and I do feel guilty when I notice that I've done that. And I try to rectify it if I can. Not always possible. But the message that I've given many times and I'm giving again is you can't you, you know when someone doesn't value you and maybe you want to make excuses or imagine well what if it turns around what if they're just busy what if they you know the reason why they can't make time even for a phone call is they really do just have a busy life there's all these things and it is true that once in a while it might be true right you rush into judgment on that they're devaluing you but you've got to still walk away. Now, you don't have to do what I do, which is oftentimes <laughs> you know, directly confront them about what's happening. You really probably, it's of no use. Like I was saying with the zombie metaphor. And the problem is, is that for a lot of us, it's so tempting. It's so, so tempting because of all of the pain and the loneliness you're trying to rectify the good feelings you're trying to experience, you're attracted to this person or interested in them for whatever, interested in them for whatever reason. And even sometimes, obviously, the rejection is its own thing, right? It's its own drug. And oh, you want to then rectify that pain. You don't, you don't want to get rejected. It's your ego and all of this stuff. But the, the really, the only way to look at this is like the more time you spend fighting, battling with these zombies, the further away you get and the weaker you get to make the journey to that fort or that island or whatever is your sort of promised land. And yes, there is no, the truth about life is that there is no guarantee that you reach it. Right? And that's the lie that a lot of people want to tell you is just think positively, just do the right thing, and you'll get this, that, or the other, like as if it's some sort of guarantee, and it's not. It's not. But you can still go on that journey, living with a certain amount of dignity within your values and principles and so on, all that stuff that I've said and that I, like all of us, we fail to meet our idealistic standards. But this is just a message that maybe you need to hear and maybe I need to hear myself repeat again is the people who don't come to you with effort, enthusiasm, a desire to connect, a desire to make time for you and whatever your goals are in this area, whatever it is, right? If there isn't that enthusiasm for you, that effort, that energy, you have to realize that you are passing up, you're wasting your energy on other people that really would appreciate it. And they are out there. Yes, there might not be this perfect happy ending thing that happens. You might not reach that, that island or that fortress, <laughs> but there are people who would walk with you along the journey to try to get there that are more worthy of walking with you. So I don't always know the best way to do it, but you have to find a way to resist the temptation 
of people who clearly have the signs of someone who won't value you. Because that's the, that's the, you know, the basic thing. The, um, the overall thing that's happening in this culture, the dating culture specifically, is the devaluation of each other. And myself included, you know, we've all been bitten by this bug to some degree. Through other people hurting us, through all this, you know, that we can replace everyone and all that stuff. But you have to find a way out of it. And, you know, I don't, I can't give you necessarily a specific strategy. I often clearly fail at following whatever my strategy or lack, usually it's just actually a lack of strategy, but if you keep interacting with people who don't give a shit about you, you'll never have the energy to give to someone who does. So whatever it takes, you have to find a way to resist the temptation of engaging with people who don't have an enthusiastic energy about engaging with you.